Austria is a landlocked mountainous country in Central Europe, situated in the Eastern Alps, which has a very unusual shape as it stretches to the west and does not allow Italy to share a border with Germany. Also, this strange and peculiar case has caused the shape of Austria to resemble a frying pan. Hence, the overall unique layout of Austria is more than just a crazy. And this raises questions about what historical events have led to this odd shape and what impacts as it had on Austria and its neighboring countries. Welcome to another video from the Geography Tour channel. The western part of Austria, with its Alpine mountains, is identified by the Panandel region, which includes some of the highest peaks of the Eastern Alps, such as Grossluckner, with an elevation of 3,800 meters above sea level. Troll and Vorarlberg are two western states located in this region where approximately 1.2 million people live, who account for about 12% of Austria's population. Population density in Panandel, especially in urban centers such as Innsbruck and Bregenz, is relatively high, and Rolberg is also the second most densely populated state after Vienna. The location of Panandel is strategically located in an important region that is actually surrounded by Switzerland. Liechtenstein and Germany, and has played an important role in shaping its unique shape. Therefore, this region is a very important area for Austria in terms of population and strategy, the early history of which has a close link with the larger history of the Elfin region and the Roman Empire. In the early Middle Ages, the region now encompassing Tyrol and Vorarlberg was part of various feudal territories in the Bavarian Dukedom. These mountainous regions and strategic passes, such as the Brenner Pass, had made it a significant area for controlling trade routes and military movements. The county of Tyrol emerged as a distinct political entity in the 12th century under the rule of the county of Tyrol, and its importance increased due to its control over important Alfin passes that facilitated trade between northern and southern Europe. The counts of Tyrol expanded their trade routes skillfully through strategic marriages and alliances and strengthened their power in the region, which finally came under the control of Habsburg dynasty, one of the most powerful European families in 1363. This happened when Margaret, Countess of Troll, transferred the county to Duke Rodolf V of Austria, ensuring that a part of the Habsburg rule fell under Austria. However, the history of Wollarberg is somewhat different from that of Troll characterized by scattered political structures and closer links with today's Swabian region of Germany. In fact, the region now known as Vorarlberg was originally part of smaller feudal lords and ecclesiastical areas that merged into a more unified region in the late medieval period. But it was in the 14th and 15th centuries that the Habsburg rule gradually acquired this region through purchase, inheritance, and the conquest of various lords who made up Vorarlberg. Unlike Tyrol, Vorarlberg was not initially a single political entity, but a collection of regions under different rulers that the Habsburgs gradually integrated into their wider territories and increased their influence in the western Alfin region. Therefore, the Habsburg dynasty played a pivotal role in shaping the borders and political landscape of the western Austrian territories, which were strategically important to them. For example, Tyrol acted as a vital link between the central Austrian lands and the Italian lands under Habsburg control, and during the Thirty Years' War, Alfin passes in the Tyrol region played a vital role in moving troops and supplies to help the Habsburgs fortify their key positions. The location of the Vorarlberg region also made it an important barrier to the expansion of Switzerland and a gateway to the Swabian territories, which are the same as today's Germany, and the Habsburgs invested in developing Vorarlberg's infrastructure, including roads and fortifications, to strengthen their control over this strategically important region. Afterwards, during the Napoleonic Wars and with the signing of the Treaty of Pressburg in 1805, Following the defeat of the Austrian Empire by the Bavarians, Austria surrendered some of its territories to Napoleon's France. However, most importantly, Austria was allowed to keep its western regions, including Troll and Vorarlberg. Also, the Congress of Vienna in 1815, which aimed to restore order after the Napoleonic Wars, 
further strengthened Austria's borders and the Habsburg monarchy regained control of lost territories to Bavaria and ensured the preservation of western territories. Eventually, with the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in World War I in 1918, which led to further territorial changes, the modern borders of Austria were officially defined by the Treaty of Saint German in 1919 which guaranteed that the western part remained an integral part of Austria despite losing other territories and therefore Tyrol and Vorarlberg became part of a new Republic of Austria. Since then, these two states have become vital regions economically and culturally. For example, Tyrol with its capital in Innsbruck is a major economic center in Austria. This region is famous internationally for its winter sports industry and annually attracts millions of visitors with its ski ports at a global level such as Kitzbühel, St. Anton and the Lertal Arena. Tourism alone contributes to the gross domestic product GDP of Tyrol and provides employment opportunities while also boosting related industries such as hospitality, retail and transportation. In addition to tourism, Tyrol has a strong industrial base particularly in machinery, electronics, and medical technology, and regions developed infrastructure, including the base tunnel Brenner that is currently under construction, aims to strengthen economic ties and trade routes between Austria and Italy, further enhancing Tyrol's economic position. Similarly, Rolberg, although smaller in size, operates just as dynamically, and its proximity to Switzerland and Germany has facilitated cross-border trade and economic cooperation. This region has invested heavily in renewable energy, especially hydroelectric power, and is at the forefront of Austria's efforts to promote green technology and sustainable development. As a result, the unique shape of Austria, which is highlighted by its western coverage, is a result of centuries of historical developments, strategic alliances, wars and treaties which today the states of Tyrol and Vorarlberg serve as important and economically significant regions that contribute to the overall prosperity of Austria.